more Americans are facing the risk of vision loss and blindness than ever before, especially those living with diabetes. In fact, diabetes is the leading cause of new cases of blindness among adults between the ages of 20 and 74. Today, we're joined by Dr. Ivan Sunier to learn more about the correlation between diabetes and your sight. Welcome, doctor. It's good to see you. Uh, why are we seeing such a rise in vision loss? Well, thank you for having me on the show. And we've been having a, a high rate of increase in the number of diabetic patients. In fact, over the last 12 years, the rate of diabetes has almost doubled in this country to now about 26 million patients in this country alone and over 500,000 in Virginia. And over time, the longer you have diabetes, the longer we live, the higher chance you have of getting the eye complication of DME or diabetic macular edema, which is what causes vision loss and diabetes. Now, you have mentioned something before called DME. What is, what is DME? Well, DME is diabetic macular edema. And what happens in DME is that there's leakage of the blood vessels from chronic damage in diabetes. And this leakage allows fluid to leave the blood vessel and enter the retina. Now the retina is the most important delicate layer to allow us to see. And when fluid enters it, it swells up almost like a sponge. And over time, the patients may notice from no symptoms at all, they may notice blurring, they may notice distortion, they may have patches where they can't see in their vision. And if this is not diagnosed and not treated, it can lead to permanent vision damage. And currently about half a million Americans have DME. Is that right? And what's it like if you have DME? Like, how does it progress? What do, what do they actually see? And then how does it get worse? Right. So initially, the scary thing is they may not have any symptoms. That's why it's so critical to have their eye doctor do a dilated eye exam every year to check for the very early subtle signs of diabetic retinopathy and specifically DME. But then over time, if there is leakage of fluid and does not get treated, they can have distortion, they can have blurred vision, and they can have loss of function. For example, they may have difficulty reading, they may have difficulty driving, they may not be able to see faces as well from the fluid in the retina. So it, can, it sounds like it could be really debilitating and, and cost you a lot of quality of life. Um, uh, how can it be prevented or can it be prevented? Is this just inevitable? Well, no, actually, the exciting thing is now we have a new breakthrough therapy that just received FDA approval that's been very encouraging for us and for our patients because it's shown a large benefit in improving vision and stabilizing the condition. This new treatment is called Lucentis, and in the large FDA trial that it gained approval in, more than half of the people in the trial that received therapy had improvement in the vision to the level where they could now legally drive again, 20-40 vision or better. And more than 40% had significant improvement of three lines or more on the vision eye chart. And that vision improvement occurred as early as seven days in many patients. So again, a very encouraging thing, but the critical thing is to be checked for it and treated early on to help stabilize the condition and also reverse the vision loss. I, doctor, there's a, I mean, we could probably talk about this for another four or five minutes, but we're out of time. But I do want folks to know where they can go to get more information if they do have diabetes or know someone who does and, and want to make sure they uh, can prevent DME. Where can they go? Definitely. Go see your eye doctor for information. And you can also go to a website to help learn more information about the new breakthrough therapy. The website is lucentis.com. Doctor, thank you so very much for being on Daytime Blue Ridge. We greatly appreciate it. Thank you for having me.